Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a proud privilege to have the Chief Air Marshal. I have had the proud privilege of knowing his illustrious father. Uh, well, we had good times with him, tough times with him, but he was a tough man with cool nose. Swamiji said, I want you to have muscles of iron, nerves of steel, inside which dwells a mind of the same material as that of which thunderbolt is made. Here is an example, living example of a leader who has enormous responsibility of protecting India's integrity and sovereignty. Seeing him inspires confidence. I have had the privilege of being a witness to the 1965 war and still when I remember squadron leader Nirvalji Singh Shekhar, tears start rolling down my eyes automatically. That supreme sacrifice, that Paramvir Chakra, the most coveted brave, brave person, they'll go down, they're, they're immortal, they're people who, are, who have materialized, you know, Indian Air Force history. Baba Meher Singh, when he landed the first Dakota at uh, Leh Airfield, is full of people who are brave, who, are, who have ex exemplary valor, and those who have ha sh demonstrated selflessness. For whom are you doing? They never thought of people behind. They said, we must do our duty well. Sense of duty entails upon you sense of responsibility. Think of those illustrious people. He had to resign from the Air Force for our uh, thing. And it really interests me. Air Force interests me somehow. It, it really, I mean, the way in, and the manner in which they, uh, they, 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 they have protected in the past, 62, 65, 71, exceptionally, I mean, their supreme sacrifice, I still remember in the manner that they do it. And I think the Army gets some medals, Parnavir Chakra. Air Force, many a times, because when the Army, you know, trains, the special trains, they start moving towards the border, we have the opportunity at least to serve them a cup of tea. Here in Air Force, we don't even have that to give them a good send-off and to wish them well at the, at the war front. Many times they are unsung heroes. So by coming here, you have reminded us of the sacrifices that the Air Force has made and the role that it has played in the defense of this country. It's not an ordinary thing to have Air Chief Marshal. Unless, as a, as, a, as, a, as a citizen of this nation, convey to all those families and men, those who are commanding different, you know, they are, they are on different commands. Let's express our deep sense of gratitude because simple thing, thanksgiving to you, sir, is not enough. We thank you for being an exceptionally good leader and the honor has been bestowed upon you but because you deserved it not because you asked for it, not because you lobbied for it. The least you will do, because I, I know uh, we were agitating doctors, Central Health Service doctors had gone on agitation in 86, 87. And uh, your illustrious father, S.S. Dhanwa, he had a very straight cut approach. If you are reasonable, I'll accept it. If you are being unreasonable, I'll not accept it. Many times he will serve us pastries and cookies and give us a good cup of tea, but they never, never budged from his actual official position. In spite of Deshmukh being the, uh, being the cabinet secretary and uh, Sarla Garival being the principal secretary, the prime minister, I remember those days. And I really feel so gratified and so honored that another Dhanwa comes and makes history. So not only 
I thank you on behalf of all of us present here, I on behalf of the faculty members, I on behalf of everyone present here who have organized this HR enclave and the leaders who are going to tell us as to what is right or what is wrong. There are many illustrious people who have been telling the senior professors, but I think what makes Mr. Dhanwa is something different. What the needs is technologically superior, you know, manpower. Uh, I mean, those who have the nerves of steel. So I, on behalf of you all, and on my own behalf, I express my deep sense of gratitude. We too are contributing in our own humble way. Five of our law students have been able to make it at Judge Advocate General in the Army. And 20 of them have made it to Delhi Judicial Services. And quite a number of de de them are advocates on the court of the Supreme Court. So our law is the flagship program, but with Professor Ayam Pandey as the Director General, I think we are inching forward in creating a center of excellence in management studies. So we are not only honored, but we are deeply moved that you belong to that illustrious family and you, you have done so much of proud to the nation because it's our proud privilege to have a man of his eminence here. Thank you very much, sir.